What is this? No! 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 <laughs> What's up guys? In this video we're going to go ahead and take a look at an in-depth review of Windows 11. And yes, they changed the dang start button again. Windows 8.1 all over again, but in the middle. What? What? What are we? All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the pros and cons of Windows 11. Pros, gorgeous, more reliable, new design. Another pro, great alternatives for window layout. Strong updates for video games. Performance enhancing attributes. Uses apps from Android, which is pretty cool. And now let's take a look at the cons. Needs a modern CPU. It takes some getting used to to the several interface changes. Useful capabilities like timeline, tablet gestures, and action center have been removed. Microsoft took a chance by altering its operating system with Windows 11. Even if many of the improvements are only cosmetic, Windows 11 is a response to Apple's and Google's rivalry, which has seen both companies nibble at the leading desktop operating system's edges with sleek new designs. Windows 11 functions very similarly to Windows 10, but with additional polish and a new, few new features and conveniences to keep up with the competition. This is despite a significantly changed appearance design to compete. This significant redesign of the look and the feel of most widely used desktop operating system in the world is wonderful news after six years of waiting for upgrades. Windows users have something to get very excited about. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the requirements to run Windows 11. Surprisingly, they are very minimal. Minimum one gigahertz CPU. Minimum four gigs RAM. And a minimum, minimum of 64 gigs storage. There is no longer a 32-bit version of the OS, hence a 64-bit processor is needed, guys. Additionally, a computer with secure boot support and a TPM security chip is required. Given that they have been a regular feature of the majority of PCs for the past six or so years, you guys don't have to worry. If your computer is older than six years, then it probably doesn't have that. But if it's newer, you don't have to worry about that. All right, guys. All right, guys, let's go ahead and look at the start menu, which is what I started this video with going, no, my goodness, why do they kind of got to, we're used to it being in the left. While it seems like a little feature, getting used to the window start button being at the left edge of centered icons may be one of the biggest adjustments that people are going to have to make. For years, the window start button has been residing on the lower left corner of the screen. The start menu has been in the same location, but... You can actually fix that going into the settings there. You can bring it to the left, which is no, no, no biggie. Put it where it belongs, please. Now let's take a look at the file explorer. Hmm. Okay. So notably, it's been revised. The left panel controls and folder icons. The top ribbon has been condensed and is far less crowded and distracting than it was in the old file explorer. The same viewing choices, lists, details, and variously sized icons are available for files, and the new button in the top left corner works for new folders or documents that are supported by your programs. Along with the original folder choices dialog, the overflow menu also includes options for file selection, compression, properties. Right-click context menus have gotten longer and longer over the years, but Windows 11 makes them shorter, smarter, and clearer. Now they only display the options that are often used. Yeah. No, we're used to the old way. Please leave it the old way. Another new feature is the widgets panel. The widget panel in Windows 11 displays tiles for news, weather, stock prices, sports scores, and other information. It's not entirely new because it remarkably resembles the news and interest taskbar pop-up that recently de debuted in Windows 10. And a recent upgrade made it even more similar by including a weather indicator in the taskbar. Later in 2022, third-party developers will be allowed to deliver content through Windows 11's widgets in addition to Microsoft's first-party titles, tiles in the widget panel. To open them on a touchscreen, simply swipe in from the left, guys. If you prefer a larger view, you can also make the widget panel full screen. All right, let's go ahead and look at the notification and 
quick settings. Microsoft has split the Windows 10 Action Center into two separate panels and tap targets. This resembles Apple's revamped Mac OS's notification area, which used to be clean, simple, single panel, but it is now a collection of smaller pop-ups. The Windows 11 version now isn't quite as bad as the Mac OS one, but I still prefer the single action center panel for notification and quick settings from Windows 10. I appreciate the circle number like those on some mobile app icons that shows how many notifications you have. Touch users can swipe in from the right to display the notification panel. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the settings functions here in Windows 11. Now Windows 10's uneven settings, windows and dialogs are one of its annoying, annoying features. Programs can sometimes be uninstalled using the brand new settings app and other times using the outdated control panel. But Windows 11 now nearly completely eliminates this inconsistent behavior. Even if the window has a new design, some intricate controls such as those for sound devices still display their content in the previous manner. Let's take a look at snap layouts and multitasking in Windows 11. With Windows 11's new snap layout option, the gap between Windows and Mac OS in terms of how you can arrange app windows on screen is even larger. You may use this tool by placing your cursor over the maximize button in the top right corner of any window. This feature seems to be a little hidden. Of course, they're gonna do that. So I hope and expect Microsoft to make it more obvious. When you click the maximize button, you have a variety of layouts, including two windows side by side, three windows with one huge and two mini windows and more. You can open a collection of apps or a single app by selecting one of the snap layout options that display in the taskbar. When you repeatedly open a collection of programs on an external monitor, layouts are also kept. Now there is a new screenshot tool in Windows 11. See back in the day in Windows 10, you could just hit Windows key, Shift key and S key and boom, that was easy. You just, and then you select it. Uh, but instead, Windows 11 offers a new snipping tool. It bears the name of an older, less useful screenshot tool that was well liked by Windows aficionados. Before taking a screenshot, the snipping tool can optionally delay for a period of time. <laughs> of course it's gonna do that. Oh my God, why could they just keep it in Windows 10? Keep it like Windows 10, why? There are still additional methods for taking screenshots. Choose the tried and true print screen key. Yeah, no, they should have just left it with the Windows Shift S key, man. It, it was the best, but anyway. There is now a link to phone connection. So any tech product today must have a phone connectivity, right? Because everyone carries a small computer with them wherever they go. That tracks them. Microsoft provides just that with Windows 11. The Your Phone app in Windows 10 has been improved and renamed phone link so now it's called phone link it provides a really strong technique to link your phone to your windows 11 computer so we can never, no longer feel jealous of mac users who can send uh text messages using an iphone with photos taken on the i on the phone instantly appearing on the pc and the ability to run any app on the computer screen windows phone link goes far beyond what is available to android users in addition you may make calls and send texts from the huge screen wow that is one you know i've thought about that before i've been like oh shoot can i just text or call someone straight from my computer do i got to pick up my phone from the side over here so that's badass i i like that i really like that from windows 11. i'm impressed unfortunately windows 11 does does away with several of its best tablet and touch friendly features of course they'll do that the gesture i frequently use on my surface go tablet to enter the task switching view Swiping in from the left is no longer available. What the heck? Additionally, closing an app by swiping down from the top is no longer possible. My goodness. Since you may still close the window by pressing the X. All right, let's take a look at the App Store. The Microsoft Store app, often known as Windows App Store, receives a sleek design update, just like the rest of the interface. The store also provides games, movies, and TV shows in addition to, in addition to the apps. Now let's look at the Teams chat integration. By default, the Microsoft Teams chat and video conferencing software is prominently displayed in the taskbar center. In some senses, this action makes sense. Given the growing significance of virtual meetings, Microsoft may be able to capture a portion of the video conferencing market. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Teams surged dramatically from 20 million to 145 million active users. 
a lot of people on their computer those days, but it's still not clear if it can spread as widely as Microsoft would like. That result wasn't achieved by including a Skype Meet Now button in the notification area of Windows 10. Skype is still a fantastic and powerful communication tool though. But perhaps as Windows 11 gains popularity, Teams chat uptake will quicken due to the widespread use of operating this operating system we'll see we'll see if that if the team chat does become more and more popular let's take a look at the upgraded uh, stock apps on Windows 11 um, you receive regular apps like an upgraded photos app new media player voice recorder two paint apps 3d which is 3d and a redesigned old paint oh yeah spring back paint oh paint's been there huh <laughs> I'm over here thinking they're going to take off everything, so I'm glad paint is still there. Mail, calendar, and so forth. In addition to the apps you may purchase from the store, Windows 11 development moves along. We may hope that the final two listed features will be significantly enhanced. Although they have rounded corners in the initial release, the previous applications are still available, thank God. New versions will be built on the fantastic progressive web app versions of Outlook as well. Notepad gets a new look, guys. Now with a dark mode. Hell yeah. And calculator apps, as well as improved paint app. But, you know, we've grown to enjoy current paint 3D, but, uh, you know, if they're going to change it, we can't stop them. A new media player program recently took the place of both the outdated Windows Media Player and the Groove Music Player. When, the PC receives, when your PC receives the update, if you had music stored in Groove, your collection and place will immediately transfer to the new media player. The default video player and catalog app for media purchases through the Microsoft Store Movies and TV, which also supports the cross-platform Movies Anywhere technology, is not replaced by the new player. So your stuff is still good. We do have a new updated clock app. The new clock app, which, is now, which now provides a tool to assist you in completing activities, de deserves special attention according to according to Windows 11. However, its focus sessions features integrates with Spotify to improve you with the right background music for your activities and with to do app. So you can tick those things off as you complete them. It still provides alarms, guys, timers and a world clock. But in, in, in my opinion, they should have left it the way it is, man. They keep changing it all the time. Oh my goodness. But there it is. Let me know what you guys think on the comment section below. Uh, I use clock a lot and all of those features on there, so that's going to be interesting. We'll see how it works. Let's take a look at gaming and new technologies in Windows 11. So PC gamers are typically not excluded from significant new Windows updates, and Windows 11 is no exception. The choice of games and technology both, both gain in that regard. First, Xbox Game Pass subscribers have access to a library of video games through the Xbox app included in Windows 11. Oh shoot. This contains games like Age of Empires 4, 12 Minutes, and Halo Infinite. Additionally, Xbox Cloud Gaming, Microsoft Game Streaming Service is enabled via the app. It effectively compares PCs to Xboxes, except users may choose how much hardware power to devote to their games. Jordan Miner, a gaming critic for PC Mag, said, that even goes so far as to claim that Microsoft has turned every PC into an Xbox with Windows 11. Huh. All right. All right. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, comment on the comment section below. What do you guys think about the new Windows 11? Um, what do you like? What you don't like? Um, what you wish they would have kept in there? And as we go on to Windows 11, let's just adapt and uh, continue on. Thank you, guys. Have a good rest of your day.